This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Thomas Podiatry and Associates, giving you a foot to stand on. You know, we sure do ask a lot of our feet. <laughs> we walk, we run, we kick, we hop, we scoot, we shimmy, we dance. And I guess actually you could probably say that our feet take the brunt of the wear and tear of our bodies. Yeah, so what do they get in return? Well, if you want to keep your feet fit and healthy, you should make sure they get some extra love and attention, especially this time of year. It's time to get those dogs out and let them breathe, but not before you give them a little TLC. This time of year, we've been in their shoes and socks and we really haven't paid much attention. Now they're out in the open, so now's the time to clean them off really good. Dr. Kevin Thomas of Thomas Podiatry says pampering your pets should include the following steps, soak, exfoliate, buff, trim, and moisturize. Keep in mind, you want to be tender with your tootsies. Just a simple pumice stone or file when you get out of the shower or get done soaking, the skin's nice and soft, just a gentle, gentle motion. The saying I like to use with patients is you're just filing your skin, you're not grating cheese. Next, it's time for inspection of your feet. Looking for open corn, open sores, blisters, open calluses, anything like that, or even just regular calluses, corns, anything that's irregular, pressure points, anything that's red, anything that's inflamed, those can be the potential for something much, much greater if we don't address them early. Your inspection could reveal the classic signs of fungal infections. So usually it starts with some redness, some itching, minor blisters, it can actually be a little burny, stinging sensations. If everything checks out, Dr. Thomas says it's okay to polish your nails to give your feet some flair. I am a firm believer of if you want to make your nails look pretty, absolutely go for it, but follow some certain guidelines. If your nails aren't that healthy, and you can check with your foot doctor if they are or not, I don't recommend polishing them. If they're not healthy, try and stay away from polishing them because you can create more problems. Additionally, if you do get them polished, whether you do it yourself or go to a salon, don't leave the polish on for extended periods of time. Maybe a week, maybe two, and then after that, take it off. Gives you an excuse to change colors or go get them done again. When it comes to summer shoes, Dr. Thomas says they need a good inspection too. If you've had them for the last five, 10 years and they feel really good, they might be worn out. So if they're worn out, throw them out. They're not doing your feet any good. Secondly, inspect them for any loose seams. Also inspect the soles, sometimes the inside and the outside. Sometimes we need to give them a good cleaning, sanitizing, things of that nature. Dr. Thomas adds, this summer you may want to rethink sacking the socks. We change our socks and wash them. We don't wash our shoes every day. So when your foot's in bare contact with your shoe, either A, you need to wash it daily, or when you take the shoe off, or B, just wear socks. Something else that could help your hooves, inserts. Oftentimes we're in situations where we need to wear certain shoes that may not have enough support, mm -hmm. but there's ways around that that you can actually make the shoe very supportive. So I'll show you, for instance, I'm wearing a stylish loafer style shoe, very common in a beach environment. Mm -hmm. And in theory, this does not have much support. Now one, I am wearing a sock with it, but two, I also have an orthotic with it. A, this shoe is very, very flimsy. As you can see, I can fold it right in half. Yeah. There's really no arch support in there. However, if I add in an arch support that's made specifically for my foot, now it's nice and stiff. It doesn't torque, it doesn't bend. It's a much more stable construct. And if exercise is part of your summer schedule, be sure your feet can foot the bill. I think start slow, just like any other body part. The feet are just like any other muscle group in the body you start gradually. You don't jump into an exercise regimen and go from zero to 60 just like that. You have to warm up slowly. Start with slow stretching, deliberate exercises, pace yourself slowly, and listen to your body. Because summertime is not the time to cool your heels on foot care. And Dr. Thomas adds, if you have diabetes, you should inspect your feet every day as problems could arise quickly. Also, if you do suspect something isn't right, it never hurts to have it checked out.